Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to set up email reporting. So as an owner, reporting is very important to you because you want to keep a track of your sales that have been going on at your location on a daily basis, monthly basis, sometimes even quarterly. You want to be able to view those reports whenever you need them. The issue is, is you can't always be at your locations just to look at the reporting. So Modisoft does offer the ability for you to schedule and create email reports that can be sent to you whenever you need them to be. So whether you want to send them via email or if you want to send them via FTP, customers might have a third party that they send emails to via FTP and they have the ability to set that up. In order to set that up, you will need to go to your main menu in the top left corner, go into the setup section under settings, and here you will see the email reports. Whenever you click on that, you will be able to see the page that shows all the report groups that you've created. So before you can actually send those reports out, you will need to create a group first, and then you can actually send it out to whoever you need to send it out, whether it's to yourself, your CPA, maybe your district managers, etc. You want to be able to send these reports to whoever needs them. So in order to set up the group, click up here in the top right corner where it says set up new group. Give your group a name. So let's say you wanted to send all the fuel reports. And then down here, you'll be able to select the type of report that you are trying to send. So in this example, we are trying to send our fuel reports. So you're able to just come here, click on all the reports, or even if you only need a couple reports, check mark what reports are needed, then hit save and close. And then you have created that group. So the group has been created with the reports that are going to be a associated with that group. Once your group has created, you can come over here to step two where you can email those reports. In this section, a couple options here on the right hand side that you will need to set up first before you can email. So if you want to do the email versus the FTP, then you're going to want to set up an email list of emails that you normally send that you would normally use that would need these reports so you can click on here where it says set up email list and then just add all the emails to any of your either your emails if you're the owner or any important emails that you would normally send reports to once you've done that you just type in the email click add email it will add it below to your list and once you have at least one email in your list, then you'll be able to either schedule an email. So if you want an email set like on a weekly basis, daily basis, monthly basis, you would come here to set a schedule. If you do not need to set the schedule, then you can send the email right away via email or FTP. So if you decide to just hit send FTP, for example, then you can select the date range that you want these reports to be sent out. Click the report type. And then just fill out the information of the FTP server down below. Once you fill it out, you, just, you can click test FTP just to verify that there is a valid connection. If for any reason there's not, then you would need to update it until you're able to get that connection. Once you get that successful connection just hit send to FTP and then it will send that report for this date range in this specific format whether it's PDF or Excel same concept for the send email you're going to select the date range put the report type whether you want it to be in PDF format or Excel format and then with that email list whatever emails you're going to be using to send this report you can either select all or if you have multiple ones and you only want to select it maybe a couple people you can just select who you want to select it to 
once you select it, click back to message. It will add all the different emails up here and then just click send email. And you'll see here in the middle where it's generating this report. Once it has generated this entire report, it will send it to the email list of all the emails that you have created and you will get the message report sent. Now for creating a schedule, so if you wanted to create a schedule to where you want to get this fuel report every week, then you would set that up here, hit the schedule button. The date range, you would need to put what range for these fuel reports. You can select an option. So let's just say you wanted it to get for last week. When do you want this report to be sent to you? So you can have this report sent to you every day at 5 p.m., for example, and then which format, PDF or Excel. And even with the schedule reporting, you have the ability to do email or FTP. So the same concept, if you were to do email or FTP, set the FTP information, verify the connection here, and then you have to select your recurring mode. So if you want to get this set, you know, never means that you want to have it basically a one-time setup at 5 p.m., you can do that. If you want it to be every day at 5 p.m., every week at 5, every month at 5, you are able to select here. So let's just, like I said, we want it to do weekly. And then what day of the week do you want to receive this email? So if you wanted this email for last week's data, you want to receive your reports every Monday, select that here. And then just, if it's FTP, test the FTP connection. If it's successful, then you're good to go. For email, be the same concept. You just need to select the recurring mode, what day you want to receive it, and then which emails that you want to use. We will actually put the report name here so you're not able to enter the subject. So we will put the fuel reports as your subject. And then you just put, if you have any optional messages that you want to put, you can put that here, then hit save and close to set up that report. Now that you've created that schedule and set it up, you can just sit back and relax, knowing that you are going to be getting these reports every week for your fuel. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modi Softback office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modi Softback office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.